First of all, let's have a little look at this clip from one of my viewers. Is my viewer or the camera at fault, or is it the white Renault from the opposite direction? And Pete says there's pressure should be brought to bear on the ship by British citizens boycotting Dubai and its Emirates airline. Stop buying his country's products wow. and lifestyle. Now on the line we have somebody that we're going to call Laura. Hi everyone. This junction was featured in one of my recent learning points where me and my pupil, we did a left turn and there were a few comments saying that we had priority when doing this turn at this crossroad. And this concerns me. So today I'm gonna to try and explain a few things. What I'd like to start off with is a simplified crossroad to the one that was on the clip, which is only a couple of hundred yards away. What we've got in front of us here is a crossroad without the central reservation. And with the giveaway lines at the side, all that means is that this road that we are on or I'm sat on has priority. Side to side have to give way to vehicles on this road. But when there are vehicles both sides and there's nothing on this road, a decision has to be made on who's gonna go first and no one has priority. It's often easier to think if you are crossing the path of someone, you're gonna let that other person go first, but there's nothing written that says that has to be the case. Quite often things are dealt with in a way of who arrived there first tends to go first. Now again, there's no rules on that. So nothing to do with priority. It's all about eye contact, reading what people are doing and deciding on what to do from that. What I would be putting across towards my pupils would be this. If we were going ahead or left and there was a car from the opposite side that was turning right, I would try and encourage my pupil to make a little move and be doing observations that actually says to that other vehicle, we would like to go, but I'd always be ready to submit and stop. If we were crossing the path of someone, I would get my pupil to sit and look at that other vehicle. And it's that sitting and looking at the other vehicle, which really means after you. So that can really explain most of the scenarios on this crossroads. Let's just go back to the other one and let's see whether it differs when you're doing a crossroad where there's a dual carriageway. So here we are back at that same crossroads. I'm actually at the other side. Um, my pupil and I came from that far side where that lorry's parked, but we're gonna just have a little think about what I've said about that other crossroad. What we said was, if you're crossing the path of someone, generally you're gonna let them go. And is that where the comments came from in the other video to say that I was turning left and I had priority? Well, maybe, but quite often what happens when you're doing a crossroad at a dual carriageway like this is that the people in the middle tend to clear before the people from the outside enter. And if you think, well, that's not how I see it, well, that's a good enough argument to really back up my point of no one has priority, and you have to then read the script and see what each particular individual person has to do. If you're teaching people that they have priority to do a particular turn, are they just gonna pull out thinking, I'm going, it's my right away? And what if someone has a different opinion? So that's a dangerous mindset. So we're just gonna quickly look at this. And look at the indecision from those two. Neither of those drivers were actually 
working out what the other one was doing and changing what they were doing to suit. As soon as maybe the van started to make a move, I wouldn't have made a move myself from the outside. I would have to have some clear signals. Let's just turn my car off. I would have to have some clear signals from that van staying there to say I was going to go and think that proves what I'm talking about. Let's just have a quick look at this scenario. You've got the Honda our side and the Ford the other. Who's going to go first? Perfect example to finish. Are they looking at each other? Is one going to start a creep? Is one going to start a little bit of a tell? Did it gain the Honda anything by going in that space? No. So often letting the cars in the middle clear aids with traffic flow. That's a good extra point to finish. See you soon.